Bang! Neves Knives. I'm Jared. My, my lovely wife, Kara, is busy. And in this video, we are doing a steel talk about Maximet K390 and then Artisan's AARP M9 steel. Also, before we start this video, I just want to say that if you want some real information on steels and cut tests and everything, you should go and watch one of the, the knife channels that do real cut tests like outpost 76 super still steve has a lot of cut tests there's a bunch of channels out there that um that have a lot of testing that they've done on cut tests that are a lot more reliable than anything i can tell you so the maximet um and also i just want to say i did lose a lot of footage i was supposed to go in this video anyways Regardless, I can't replace it or redo it. But so I started off sharpening this course. Um, so I first started off, I did a whole video on it. So if you want to watch a sharpening video of me sharpening Maximet, it was the first time I sharpened Maximet. And so it went easy, it went fine, no problems, but I did it as a very coarse edge. You know, I had heard different things about, uh, you know, Maximet being very amazing with a coarse edge and like that's kind of the way it's supposed to you know you're supposed to sharpen it but then i heard all the rumors about it being really good as a polished edge so that's basically where i went with it i didn't do any grits like in the mid-range so i can't really speak on that right now but i did do an an extra coarse edge on this and you know it on the stone it felt kind of rocky um, it's kind of hard to explain. And I know it's probably the carbites and the steel going across the diamonds, but it almost felt, it's, it's very weird to like explain almost like I was like sharpening on sand or something. Um, but it did sharpen up very easily. You know, I held my angle, sharpened it up and then cutting with it. So cutting with it, you know, it cut remarkably well. Now, it wasn't the type of edge, like, yes, it could cut through paper just fine and everything else, but it was also pretty aggressive going through paper, but, you know, not uh, not to the point to where it wouldn't go through. It would go through paper very cleanly, but I could feel the difference. Now, cutting with it and actually cutting cardboard and cutting stuff with it, it cut very, very well because of the bite on the edge it was very very aggressive so cutting into materials like it would just bite into materials and then go right through now pretty quickly i noticed um uh and i'm not gonna say micro chipping or anything like that but it, i noticed it uh feeling pretty coarse on the edge and you know i tried stropping it a couple times and it, uh, you know, it, it didn't strap back the way I would like it to, but, you know, I, I, I'm i not expecting anything, if you know what I mean. I'm just kind of feeling what's going on. And, you know, it didn't, uh, it took a little bit of extra stropping to really bring it back, but it was a very, very aggressive edge that cut very well. Now, then I tried doing something a little bit different. I tried honing it on a ceramic uh, stone to see if that because I've seen some videos on uh, people, you know, basically putting a burr on each side and then knocking it off and using that edge and that being a really good edge. So I tried doing it and it actually worked very well. I was actually pretty impressed with how good it not only cut afterwards, but then how, I don't know about how much better, but how much better the, the edge kind of held up. Then, um, You know, but then for cutting performance by time, I was ready to put a polished edge on it. It really didn't show that much damage. I mean, after doing the ceramic thing, um, and basically what I did was I just, you know, knocked my burr off with a ceramic, um, with not a ceramic rod, but a ceramic stone. And I didn't sharpen on it or anything like that. I just knocked the burr off. So the the ceramic would basically wouldn't have too much effect to the edge just on tearing the burr off. Now, when I went to sharp to polish it, I um, you know, I basically put it on the stone from where I left off the last time from putting the coarse um 
you know, the coarse edge on there. And I just restarted from that stone and put a polished edge on it, polished up real nicely. But I did something a little different because I was worried. And it's not even that I was worried. I, you know, I, I knew I was going to take it to a full polish, so I didn't want the edge to be too brittle, so I convexed it a little bit. And I'll show my edge just a little bit. You can see. I did convex the edge a little bit, and it's kind of in the middle, but I was worried I, that I wasn't going to get the peak um sharpness that i wanted out of it but i absolutely did i mean this thing got wicked sharp i mean incredibly sharp plus i felt like i got i gained a little strength by making the convex touch now after i was done with it not only was i super impressed with how sharp it was i mean this thing was whittling hair like nothing i mean it was crazy whittling hair but <clears throat> But uh, but then I started cutting with it and started using it, and I noticed the bite went away pretty quick. Um, and compared to other steels, maybe not. But I think maybe what I was expecting. Now, let me say, though, that's on a polished edge, and it was a convex polished edge. Maybe it would have been different if I just did kept my V-grind. But... Then when I stropped it, the bite came back very easily too, though. And I did strop it on diamond compound and, you know, it, the, the bite came right back and it went from whittling hair to cutting with it a bunch, losing bite, not being able to whittle hair back to whittling hair pretty quickly. Um, with very, not much stropping either. I mean, it wasn't like I sat there and stropped like crazy. I just did a few passes on each side. So I was very happy with that. But, and now, you know, I, I've stropped it back a few times and man, it still has that amazing bite to it. It cuts very well. Um, it doesn't have obviously as much bite as a toothy edge or toothy finish, but it's very impressive for a polished edge, how ridiculously sharp and how aggressive it feels for a polished edge a lot of times polished edges you polish the teeth out and they feel like things are just skating off of them not this this absolutely has a lot of bite and it, you can feel it and i'm sure at the point to where it, it was losing its bite it still had all you know more bite than a lot of other steels would at that point now let's go to the k390 so the K390, I did the exact opposite way. I first started off with a polished edge. Then I moved, but so, let me talk about the polished edge first. So I polished it, went through all my stones on Venev diamond stones, polished it up, put a beautiful polished edge. I was very, very happy with the polished edge. Now, the one thing though is when I did do that, and this is why I convexed this one on the Maximats. This is one of the reasons. So. After polishing it, this beautiful edge, very, very aggressive polished edge, had a lot of bite, very similar to the Maximat. But as I started using it, I noticed pretty quickly I got like a little chip. But what was weird was it kept coming back in the same, or you know, it was like in one specific spot. Now, but the chips were weird. So imagine this is a lot bigger. Instead of a chip being just like this, it was like this, so it felt long, like not just like a chip. It felt like a long and good chip. Now, the thing is, though, is that what I'm trying to show right here is obviously not to spec. This little chip would be so small you wouldn't be able to see it. But that's what it felt like, in my opinion, when I would run my nail across like this, when I'd take my nail and I would run it across it, that's what it felt like. Now... That's why I was kind of wondering, well, is it brittle at, at a polished edge? And I don't think so because I continued to keep cutting and I didn't notice that anywhere else in the edge, just in that one specific spot. 
So then I kind of wondered, well, like, was my steel a little fatigued right there? Am I overly cutting in that one spot? Did I hit something? Yada, yada, yada. But I didn't know. Um, I sh continued to strop it back a few times and it kept a lot of bite. I was very impressed not only with the, the level of sharpness, but the level of bite and the performance from it. Now, then I decided after, uh, you know, having the polished edge on there, cutting with it and really testing it out with a polished edge and seeing how it performed, you know, and also seeing how it stropped and everything else. I wanted to sharpen it on it with a coarse edge. So then I put it back on the stone and I basically sharpened it at, to a coarse grit, which is where it's at now. Um, I would say it's, I don't know. I, I didn't do it as coarse as the Maximet. The Maximet, I think I did, I did a, at a pretty coarse grit. This one, I think I did, I went a little bit higher. I don't know the actual grit. I think it was like, um, 80 micron or something, 60 micron. I forget. It was very coarse. I would say, I would, I don't know. I would say maybe like a 600 grit edge or something, maybe a little less, maybe four to 600 grit. Uh, if I'm not right about the micron, just it was, it's about a 400 to 600 grit edge. Then, you know, I started testing it and I was very happy with the aggressive edge. I mean, but it, it was very, very aggressive. It didn't feel quite like the Maximet on the stone, though. You know, it did feel a little bit uh, more reasonable on the stone. Like this one, the Maximet felt a little rocky on the stone. This one didn't feel quite like that sharpened up really good and felt really good on the stone um deburred really good i mean everything that you would want out of a great steel it felt like it was doing and i started cutting with it you know obviously after i had my you know the aggressive finish on there and it cuts very, very well. Now, I was worried that maybe that little bit of chipping that I got from the polish edge would also happen on this, and it did not. It did not happen. So, I don't know if that was from, it was the first edge, or, you know, who knows? I can't really tell why that chipping was happening like that in that one spot, but it cuts remarkably well, has a lot of bite. Then, stropping with it it's it, it it strops back but it's um i did have to use my my coarser stropping compound i didn't notice like that i was getting much out of my 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 finer compound um plus i also had an aggressive edge on it so you know that could be the reason but when i hit it with my aggressive stropping compound boy it brought that edge right back not only did it bring it right back it uh you know it just felt very good and looked really good and yeah kept performing and but between the, the say the convex and the v grind um you know i it's too early for me to say if that really made a difference with this knife or not and if maybe i would have gotten chipping or anything if i would have left the polish edge these are two different steels and i haven't had them long enough to really know being super steels man like at this level you really have to cut with them a lot to tell differences now but i will say all in all i am extremely extremely impressed with these steels I want more of them. <laughs> I love sharpening them. I love using them. I love the type of edges they take. I love that that real aggressive feeling polished edge, the edge that just feels like it has a lot of bite, almost like a, like a toothy finish, but yet it's polished. I love that. I love how ridiculously sharp they get and how it holds up man it just holds up like really good i was actually cutting i actually cut them both with both of them i was cutting wire um not like big thick wire but um you know like phone charger wire the the long like 15 foot cords i had like two of them laying around and i used them for hanging up my blankets for uh for the sound thing 
for my studio and I was using stuff like that because they were just cords that don't work anymore. So I was using these to cut them up and they went through like nothing, didn't chip, didn't nothing. Not saying I was expecting them to chip, but I'm just saying they didn't. They, they were just as sharp after cutting up, um, I don't know, maybe 10 cuts a piece. I don't know, something like that. Maybe less, five, six cuts a piece. So all in all, I, for these two steels, I would say that they do good. Both of these do great with a toothy finish or a polished finish. I love a polished finish on these steels. I would probably, in my opinion, uh, stick with somewhat of a polished finish um, just because you get that beautiful finish plus it keeps a lot of bite but if you're going to be cutting a lot of rope and a lot of cardboard and that's what it's specifically going to be for then an aggressive edge is also amazing on these because like for cutting rope obviously you want something with a lot of bite and like if you're cutting straps like same thing so in my opinion these are steels that you can basically put whatever finish you want on them and they're going to perform very, very well. Now for the AARP M9 steel, I've dealt with it about four times now and I will say that you should probably go and watch some videos from other people that do actual cut tests for the information on steels, um, like Alpo76, great channel. Go check him out. He uh, he does lots of actual cut tests, which I don't do. I sharpen. I test the knives out just like basic EDC. The, ba the same way I would just use a knife. I cut up recycling, and it's never the same cardboard. I cut straps. I cut this. I cut that. And I strop them back. And, you know, and I, I don't do a the same cardboard and count the cuts. I don't do that. So... I'm not, it's not going to be science whatsoever. This is all just an opinion. So I will say about these steels, I was kind of confused. I don't know if maybe if Artisan is still trying to, to figure, I don't know, you know, maybe they are trying to figure it out themselves. But the first one I tried, I was, I was very impressed with. I really was. It seemed like it had good edge retention. It dropped back so, so good, like incredibly well. Uh, but then when I tried another one and I sharpened it and, you know, I didn't have no issue deburring it, like knocking off the burr through sharpening. That seemed like it was okay. But I didn't get nowhere near the edge retention I got from the last one. And it didn't strap back nowhere near as well. Like nowhere near. Now it's still strapped back better than some steels. So it's still strapped back pretty good. Um, actually really good. But not quite like the other one. Now sharpening it. I, you know, sharpening with a coarse, uh, coarse stone. I, um. You know, I tried doing that and seeing how it would do, and I really wasn't happy with the edge retention on uh, with course, uh, but it, you know, still took a good edge. So, you know, sharpened up just fine. I didn't have an issue. It was kind of like sharpening, I guess, like a 9CR or something. Um, very easy to sharpen. It was extremely easy to sharpen. Then... But, you know, it felt like it was chipping a little bit. Now, every one I've tried... I have a different opinion on. So that's why when I'm talking about one, it's not the same thing when I'm talking about another. So this is where I get confused. So it's kind of hard to do a video on it without doing, you know, when you're talking about a steel, when you have a different opinion about each one you've tried. So then I tried another one with um, a coarse edge and it seemed like it did a little bit better, but it... <sighs> Oh man, it's kind of, it's so hard to, to, to grasp the words I'm trying to express. So with the one, when I like tried doing like a little bit of abuse tests to it, it uh, was pretty, pretty bad. Like it, it didn't seem like it held up worth a crap, but, but for just basic cutting, it seemed like it was okay, but it didn't, sh it wasn't strapping back like the other one. The other one seemed like it strapped back significantly well, while the other one didn't. Then 
when I tried doing polished edges on them, they polished up okay, but they lost all bite. I did not like the way the bite um, like stayed. Now the one I did sharpen to a a polish, and it seemed like it held the bite pretty good. Like it seemed like it was pretty, uh, you know, felt like it was an aggressive edge still. Like it held the bite pretty good, but the other one did not. And like at all like it felt like it just like once i started getting to a polish it felt like it just fell off so now it felt like the edge was nice and slick well i didn't want to keep an edge like that because i don't i don't like a slick edge i like my edges to bite in the materials well so i did wind up dropping the grit and lowering it back down so that i didn't have to leave the polished edge on there um now the the edges how long they lasted they you know like i said i i just it's so hard to tell i never got d2 performance out of any of them okay never 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 got d2 performance there were times where i felt like i was getting like just regular nine cr and then there were times where i felt like i got less than that you know i don't know without doing an actual full-on cut tests now i then i started thinking like well what if i tried it on different stones maybe it's the diamonds because i was sharpening them on diamonds maybe if i try them on aluminum oxide right so i switched to aluminum oxide and i sharpened them up on aluminum oxide and i thought i thought that that was going to be the difference and i thought that because of somebody else that i know that's a sharpener that's what they sharpen on so i thought that maybe that that would you know like work and you know i still i didn't get the results i was expecting um, I, I can't say if it did better or worse. Um, one of them seemed like it did pretty good out of these two. Uh, one of them seemed like it was working pretty good off of aluminum oxide, but then the other one didn't. So I, I don't know, maybe, maybe they're just, I don't know, maybe the, the, the steel doesn't do good on a big batch level maybe um the, you know they're just getting their heat treatment down on it i don't i can't say it's i'm very confused with the steel because there were you know i still stand by my review but it's very difficult for for me to say how i feel about the steel when i have a different opinion across the board from the four that i've tried None of them were the same. None of them gave me the same results. Not, you know, they almost felt like different steels, to be honest. So I'm just going to leave it at that because I, I don't want to put out information saying don't buy these or anything because these are great knives. I love these knives and I feel like they're, they're well worth the value that, that you can buy them for. I'm not saying that the steel is bad or horrible or anything like that. I'm just, I'm just saying that you know, I was expecting it to be a little bit better, um, and possibly it's something that, uh, you know, I, I love this knife. Let me just say this right now. I love this knife. Kara loves this knife. I, I, you know, I've cut with this a bunch of times too. It cuts really good. It's very fidgety. It's a great knife. So, the, you know, the knives themselves are awesome. And with this one, you know, I beat the heck out of this thing and, you know, that's how I kind of know, like, how I feel about it. And it's not horrible. Uh, at least I haven't found it to be horrible. But I don't know if I actually did a, a counting foot cut test, what I would come up with. I couldn't tell you. I could see with other steels, I could tell you a roundabout idea of what I would think. Not like down to the feet or anything, but just meaning like, oh, I think this would do good. Or, oh, I, I don't think this would do that good. You know, I would, you know, say like that with these. I couldn't tell you if they would do good or bad. I just couldn't tell you. Um, and then after watching Outpost 76's video, it really makes me feel like that I it might not. And it's nothing against artisan. It's nothing against the, you know, it's just sometimes things have to get worked out you know it's that's all part of this stuff with the knives right we, you know that's what, why we do what we do and they do what they do and we work together and figure it out and i have no doubt that the steel might be able to be a great performer soon um it just might need to be worked out a little bit better i don't know i love you guys thanks for watching peace